Hi guys, I'm Whiskey One, Charlie Uniform India. That's my ham radio call sign. Next weekend on the 24th and 25th of June 2017, ham radio operators from all over the world will be getting together to show how they can communicate effectively for disaster and emergency situations. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to show you my portable system. You can see my backpack on here. I have a whole bunch of antennas and everything in here. And I'm going to be hiking up a mountain to communicate worldwide and potentially outside the atmosphere to the space station and also using ham radio satellites. So let's get started. I'll show you what it's like. I'll set everything up for you. And then we'll actually do some talking. Okay, here's the entire ham station set up. Um, we have multiple antennas here. We have a HF antenna, a solar battery and solar panels, the radio and tent to keep me dry, and then we have the satellite hook up over here. And we'll talk about this one first. So this one is so we can communicate with the space station or satellites that orbit the Earth. And I can simply sit here and I can tilt this around in any direction that I need to. Or I can even take it off and handhold it as it comes around. And to communicate with the space station these days or satellites, it's a simple matter of just using a little handheld. It's not like uh, all the equipment you see on television with the big dishes. So from here, we can just simply hit the button, transmit. You're listening to the W1 SRA. And in this case, high atop Saddleback Mountain. In this Please case, a 100 hertz PL tone. As soon as it gets done talking. In this case, I actually uh, just have it going to a repeater right now because I don't know if any satellites are overhead. So we'll shut that off for now. In order to find satellites or find the space station, we need to be able to um, we need to be able to know where it's at. So if we come inside the shack, we can go to and take a look at my satellite tracking program. And as you can see here, we're located in this spot where the where the cursor is. And right now the space station is way down over here and uh, it's making its way up towards us and it'll be here soon. Now I can speed this up so you can see where how it will pass overhead and as you can see this is the track of the space station. So once that footprint gets over as you can see here that wide circle once that circle gets over me that means I can start talking to it. It's a low Earth orbiting satellite, even though it's a space station, and therefore you can only speak when it's over the horizon. So right now it's below the horizon. So that's the that's the satellite and and space station uh, setup. Over here, as I showed you a moment ago, we have an HF antenna. This is a small antenna called the super antenna. And basically you make adjustments here for the frequency and the, the whip goes up here. And then we power the radios by the solar panels. This is a 100 watt solar panel setup. I have an 18 amp or 20 amp hour battery here to run, to run the radios, which is constantly being charged when the sun's out. And we can see that the solar panel is operational. There are no errors and the battery is charging and it's got a load on it. So we're all good there. And now we can come back inside and into a little tent. We can actually see if anybody's on the radios. So this is radio. It's called a HF radio with VHF and UHF. So it covers all the amateur frequencies. And over here we have a meter that tells me if the antenna is tuned because we want to make sure the antenna is tuned before we do anything. So we can simply tune in. And if I want to try calling them, I can simply key up on the microphone. Thank you very much for the contact. Happy Father's Day. And to all those out there that are listening, Happy Father's Day to you all. 73 from North Carolina. KJ4 Z Mike Victor. This is AG4 ZL73. AG4 ZL KC9. I got me with all that radio stuff. 
and that guy's out in the distance, I probably wouldn't be able to call him. So that's the setup for field day and the campfire. And from here, I can talk around the world or to the space station or through satellites. I can do voice, I can send data, I can send video, I can send Morse code if I like. Just about any form of communication that you can think of, I can send uh, via this system.